What's up everyone, Mahomi7 here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Comics DC Multiverse TV show Black Lightning action figure. So over here we can see this nice picture of Black Lightning. The DC Comics logo, it says Multiverse right here. There is the Black Lightning TV show logo and it says Black Lightning right there and then up here it says Collect and Connect the Ninja Batman figure. On the side we have picture of Black Lightning, the DC logo, and on the other side same thing and then on the back we have a little a picture of Black Lightning and a little bio which says retired vigilante Jefferson Pierce returns to battle crime as the electricity controlling Black Lightning. Here are the other figures in the wave. Here we have Beast Boy, Starfire, Wally West Flash, Jon Stewart, Green Lantern, Nightwing, and then we have Black Lightning and they all come together to make the Ninja Batman action figure. And Black Lightning comes with the right leg to the Ninja Batman figure. Okay, so here we have the Black Lightning action figure. Here's the face sculpt. Now, I haven't watched the TV show, but I've heard it's really good. And for the most part, from what I can tell, this seems very accurate. I love the paint on the lips. It adds extra detail to it. And then the goggles look great. He has like really dark brown hair. I love the, they actually painted, or like it could be a wash effect all these like lines and like well i gotta say wire work i guess this is really nicely painted the logo this looks good there's like sculpting details here for like the armor plates and then our solid blue color here the legs same thing it's just a very nicely sculpted figure and the paint the wash here for the blue is really really nice and then right here the lightning is painted very crisp and clean same thing with the shoes they look really really nice and here's the back of the figure the back of the figure looks really really good all the armor plates are solid black and then he, oh they're over the this like texture kind of like a fishnet texture and then here he has the blue lines running across his costume Overall, the look of the character is really cool. And then he has his arms. So we have this like lightning piece. And then here, I'm guessing this is where he shoots his lightning. It's probably because of this thing right here, which gives him his powers. That looks really, really good. Okay, so for accessories, Black Lightning comes with two extra fisted hands which are really nicely painted and sculpted. And they have this glossy paint and then they have the blue with the dots painted really, really nicely. And then they have the wires painted really, really good. And then they have, which is my favorite part, my favorite accessory, which is the lightning hands. These look really, really cool. Although they don't particularly look like lightning, they look more like water effects but they look really cool and they're made out of like a soft material so you don't have to worry about it poking your eye out or something it looks really good and you can of course swap out the hands if you want you could just pop the hand off and then just put in whatever hand that you want him to have like this that looks really really cool this is my favorite part of the figure that looks awesome for articulation, Black Lightning's head doesn't really look up much at all, and then it looks down just a little bit. He can, of course, rotate side to side, but not much in the way of head pivot. Shoulders move outwards, not as much as I'd like them. And then they do go 360. He has a bend at the elbow, which is which does not reach 90 degrees, so that's not good. And then he has a wrist swivel and a hinge up and down. He has an ab crunch which can crunch down pretty good and then he can crunch back pretty good too. He has a waist swivel 
legs move outwards all the way so he can do a splits he can also kick forward really good not back much he has a thigh cut he has a double jointed knee which bends in all the way and then his ankles move up and down and he does have ankle pivot okay so black lightning stands at around six and a half inches tall here he is next to the flash tv show flash and then here he is next to the supergirl tv show supergirl and i think the height comparison between black lightning and supergirl is pretty good but although i do think that the flash figure is very small compared to the other two here is black lightning next to some comic book characters so we have starfire from teen titans and then john stewart from the justice league okay so overall i think this is a really nice figure if you're a fan of the tv show you have to get this action figure if you're a fan of the black lightning from the comics which i'm not i wasn't very much aware of this character so i didn't know much about him but although i need to see that tv show you should get this figure and i would recommend this figure this is a really nice figure i would give him a solid 8 out of 10 kind of surprised me even though I, I didn't watch any of the tv show i really really do like this figure and guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel and i appreciate everyone's support thank you very much